number five. So in this video, we will talking about how you can convert a floating point number to integer and an integer to floating point number. So we will use parse int and parse float. So first we will talk about converting a floating point number to an integer. Okay, so floating point numbers are the decimal numbers. If you don't know about this, let me just explain you in a short minute. So floating numbers are the numbers which have in a decimal numbers like 8.2, 1.2, 32.9999 like this. And the integers which are the integers are the number which are the known decimal numbers like 9, 1, 2, 4, 0, minus 1, minus 2 like this. Okay, so we have a parse int method which is used for converting in a floating point number to an integer number. So let me explain you an example. So we can use parse int and that is a function and in this parenthesis we will put our floating point number and when just console or alert this statement we got our 9. And we say if we are to have an example in which we parse int of 9.99999 and if we run again this, so this again returns me 9. Okay. And they, this is an example. So we have let's say let x is equal to parse int 9.33 and when we run our alert statement it will returns me 9 and as you can see this, this site says 9. And, uh, so we just talk about our uh, converting, uh, how you can convert a uh, uh, floating point number to an integer. So we say we have an uh, x integer and say uh, let x uh, is equal to 9.3 uh, 9.124 like this and converting this number to and to parse end we say parse end in this way and uh, just close this number in the parenthesis and then say alert and x and this will return me 9 and we will see so opening again cmd cd documents cd okay so cd documents and in the directory and then running our html file so index.html and as you can see we got our 9 in our output okay no problems in that and what about if we have a number like 9.9999 saving in control s and running this html file so we got again our 9 so any number which is after these points should be ignored in this method okay so we see uh, how actually we can or uh, let me show you one more example so if, well if we are not showing in that place then what is our output let's see so we got our nan so what is the meaning of this nan is not an integer not a number so we got not a number okay so whenever you pass any string in that method you got nan and if you pass any integer it will convert into this and when just with no any number you could pass, then it also returns you nan so well if you have an, a no any string if we use string we got nan and if we use nothing here again we got nan and if we use an empty string control s for saving and running our html file and again we got our nan okay and let's see how you can convert a integer to a floating point number so we can use this parse float in place of parse int we use parse float converting our integer to floating point number so we use this 8 and it will return me also 8 but that is a floating point number so this is the So we have to say let x and that is equal to uh, 9 point or 9 only and we need to convert this into our uh, floating point number so we say alert and then say parse float and of this x so when just saving our file with html and, uh, and again you can see we got our 9 in our output so like this and if we have nothing in this place so control s saving running html file and it again okay, this method also gives me nan and let's check if we got uh, let x is equal to 9.1 
this is the floating point number and we got this floating point number in our output so this method returns me this and let's say we have a swing and that is like hello saving with control as running our html file and it also gives me name so i think you just familiar with this method also okay so in the next uh, so in the last uh, so in the upcoming video in the next tutorial we will discuss about how you can convert an integer how you can convert a number either it is a floating point number or integer it doesn't matter but how you can convert a number to an string and what is the great method of this string is to converting an integer to a string and uh, there is an, a concept of uh, converting string in this using base we will discuss about this in brief video so next the next video we will talk about how you can convert integer to string or a string to integer so you can subscribe my channel click on this bell notification icon to get new notif new notification regarding my new videos okay or you can uh, join this playlist javascript tutorial for beginners to get each and every notification regarding new javascript video we will upload 30 to 40 videos of javascript only in this month so you can join this channel now thanks for watching this tutorial thank you